in 2018 budget, we have provided for a non-budgetary corpus fund of 2,000 crores to supplement the budgetary allocations and accelerate the pace of coverage under the ENAM and the GRAM. Ministry of Commerce has also adopted an agri-export policy with targeting to double the agri-exports by 2022. So not just the farmer's income, but also agri-export shall double by 2022 because of our policy. So if all these are reforms for agriculture, we have not forgotten the welfare measures, the measures that we need to take for the sake of the farmers. We have rolled out the PM Kisan, under which 6,000 rupees annually is transferred to every farmer, irrespective of the size of holding. This historic step, this historic step, costing 87,000 crores in a year, has been enabled by this government. Everybody who talks about farmers' welfare, please note, we have not just spoken about it, we have acted on it. And this is the kind of budget that is being given for farmers' welfare. We are now working on a pension scheme for all farmers called, uh, under the scheme called Pradhan Mantri Man Samman Yojana. And again, just to make sure that greater focus is given on risk management through crop insurance scheme, that's also being accelerated. I, I mentioned earlier, Speaker Sir, the National Farmers Commission, what is otherwise popularly known as Swaminathan Commission. It is our government that took it seriously and started implementing the recommendations since 2014. Of the 272 recommendations, some of the recommendations have been already implemented. The most important recommendation relates to giving the farmers 50% of the cost of production as profit margin. It is our government, again, it is our government that took the historic decision of providing a minimum of 50% as the margin of profit on the cost of production in the year 2018. So, that is very important to notice that in agriculture, sir, not just one mention of one paragraph, but several instances of where the government has reached out and will reach out further for the farmers. MSPs are notified annually for Karif and Rabi crops. Accordingly, MSPs have been notified regularly, including for Karif 2019, which is already done. So, I want also to draw your very attention very quickly on the zero-based, uh, zero-budget uh, farming, on which a lot of work has started. Greater details will be shared with the uh, respect, respectful members of parliament.